8th of March. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to Safed? To both uh, myself and Safed, it means a day for change. Uh, it means a day for us to think about the role that women are playing in our lives, in society, and in the communities, and how important the women should be valued. And when we are looking at um, you as an organization, we know you work with uh, young people. When we are telling young people to be bold for change, what exactly are you calling them to do? We are telling them to look at their life situations and to do a personal assessment of your life situation. If you are in, a, in an abusive relationship as a young woman or as a woman, this year we are calling for change. We are saying to you, you need to change your situation. Uh, I want to age and say we are not asking women to divorce. Often uh, people think when women are calling for change, we are asking women to become single. No, you can change your situation and still be married. It's possible. And what role can men play International Women's Day, uh, Women's Month, March as a whole? We are saying this is Women's Month. Where are the men? We want men to value women. Um, look at what they do on Valentine's Day. They buy flowers, they buy presents, they buy all sorts of things. They take women out for dinner. Women's Day is just as important, if not more important. That is the day you must think of your life without a woman. What would it look like? And if you think it, a woman is valuable, buy her flowers, take her out. If you are in the rural or in the communities, for example, let her rest that day. Give her a day off. Give the women a day off. Men must go and fetch water. They must wash the children. They must do what women do every day as a way of recognizing that women are very important in their lives and they value them. Looking at Zimbabwe, uh, the region where Safed works uh, internationally, are we on course to achieve gender parity? Not at all. We do two steps forward and then we take one step forward, backwards. And this is very, very disappointing for us as women. We have worked so hard to get women into positions of authority. But if you look worldwide, you still find that you, if you try to count how many women presidents we have had, they don't, you don't, they are less than my five fingers. And honestly, how many years down the line that we've been fighting for gender parity? And we are still very, very far. If you look at critical positions where women should be strategically sitting, we still struggle. It's still a challenge. If we get a woman on in one term, it's difficult the second term for us to get a woman again. These are some of the things that I think we really need to address. They are, they are really disappointing. So your parting shot to surface, uh, partners, stakeholders, women, the leadership, policy makers. My parting shot is that we ourselves as women activists uh, are failing women. We should, just this day itself, one should become a holiday. Why is it not a public holiday? Two, it should be celebrated much more than we are doing. We are marginalizing this day, we are trivializing this day, and that is wrong. Because this is a day for us to talk about the issues that we want to change. And so if we are at work, if women are in the fields, when are they going to celebrate this day? We demand that this day becomes a public holiday. Thank you very much.